Research Proposal Presentation Speech Step-by-Step -step Guide What to Expect Before, During and After Defense Number 1 is Your Pre-Preparations Number 2 is Set Up and Start Up Number 3 is Giving the Presentation Number 4 is Post-Defense Committee Questions Number 5 is Revisions, Paperwork Number 6 is Public Speaking in General Number 7 is practice speaking tips. Number 8 is how to avoid nervousness in presentation. Number 1 Your pre preparations make cue cards even if you don't use them. It's better to have the card or to have at least known the material well enough to make the card and not need it than to want it and not have it. Have a roadmap, decide on your order ahead of time. Write it in a familiar form most conference-style presentations, which are similar to thesis and dissertation defenses, are presentations of a condenses research paper version of the full text. However, use a form that you are most comfortable with bullet points, list, images, etc. Have a visual aid whether detailed slides are a simple backdrop with the title of your manuscript and your name, if you give your audience something to look at other than you, it will help them focus on the material and take some pressure off of you being stared at the entire time. Number two is set up and start up arrive early. Know the room number. Triple check the day, time, and place. If giving your presentation online or virtually, arrive to the room early and make sure all technology is operational. Take and print all your materials ahead of time, especially handouts for the committee or note cards for yourself. Take a bottle of water with a cap. Thank the committee for being there first before starting. Introduce yourself and the title of your work. Number three is giving the presentation. Don't explain everything. Focus on major argument and most relevant information. Condense chapters or major sections into body points, like body paragraphs in a traditional essay, and then finish with a conclusion that summarizes next steps. Leave something for the text. Use present tense to discuss the project. Your project is ongoing always. I discussed the data suggests this researcher says in this novel. This study focuses on be sure. Have the confidence to know what you said in the paper. Avoid, I think, or, I forgot, but I'm pretty sure do. Not. Stray. Stick to a specific order. Try not to backtrack. Do not talk about things that do not explicitly appear in the text of your work unless it is to answer a question from the committee. Number four is after committee questions don't interrupt the committee's questions let them get through their entire question or suggestion. Be courteous, thank your committee for each piece of advice or every question that they give to you. Thank the committee and the audience at the end. Be patient most committee deliberations are decided quickly. Number five is post-defense revisions, policies, and paperwork for successful post-proposal. Your committee will suggest any necessary revisions. Your committee chair should have you, the committee members, and the deans of the colleges sign the proposal cover sheet. Your committee chair should pass along appropriate material to deans, members, and the appropriate colleges. Be sure to continuously check your email or check in with your committee chair to ensure that these forms have been delivered and accepted. Successfully defended proposals are checked by the university. For successful post-final defense, your committee will suggest any necessary revisions. Successfully defended theses and dissertations are examined for revisions by university staff and between all thesis or dissertation students and university staff before degrees can be conferred. Number six is public speaking in general practice practice by yourself and with a small audience. Make eye contact with the committee. Minimize fidgeting. Minimize stuttering and filler words. Dress professionally, 
but stay comfortable. Number seven is practice speaking tips what you want to say and how you want to say it. Both come from practice. Part one, learn your material, the what. The order, what goes first, what goes middle, what goes last cue cards can help. Just don't forget to maintain eye contact the length, time, time yourself. How long is your presentation give yourself a hard time limit? Most adults only have an attention span of between 11 and 20 minutes. You probably want to have about 10 minutes minimum or 15 minutes maximum of prepared material. The meaning, you need to fully understand what you are saying, in case you accidentally get lost or one of your audience members interrupts with a question or has a question later. It is not enough to simply memorize the material you need to know how it all fits together, and what it means outside the space of your presentation. Part 2. Learn your delivery. The how. The volume. What is the loudest you can speak and still be clear and comfortable? What is the softest you can speak and still be heard in the back of a large room? Practice your speech in empty auditorium classrooms to get this feel. Project using big breaths pretend you are talking to a friend across a very crowded cafe. If you are speaking digitally, make sure you have a working microphone set up with headphones to minimize audio feedback. The tone, friendly and approachable is usually preferred. But sometimes, speeches require a range of emotions to evoke the proper audience response. Sympathetic, energetic, enraged, frightened, each has its place in the public speaking world. Knowing the kind of reaction you want from your audience and the purpose of your speech can help when practicing what tone you want to use in your delivery. The pace, just like with timing, be conscious of how fast you are going. Generally, you want to deliver your words at the same, conversational pace. But if you are struggling with a big word or with an idea that you wish to emphasize, slowing down will help keep you calm and keep the meaning clear. Likewise, speeding up over material that you have already covered or that you wish to de-emphasize can cut down on time. Just don't speed through the whole thing. Number eight is how to avoid nervousness in presentation. There are some tips which can help you to avoid your nervousness in presentation. Arrive early, know your topic, make table of contents, get organized practice, and then practice some more challenge specific worries. Visualize your success, do some deep breathing, focus on your material, not on your audience. Don't fear a moment of silence, recognize your success, get support, transform nervous energy into enthusiasm, attend other speeches, adjust to your surroundings, use positive visualization, take deep breaths, drink water and eat chocolates prior to presentation, don't fight the fear. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.